Hi there, wig lover, and this is Heather from SisterWigs.com, and I'm totally doing a bathroom review, but at least it's a nice bathroom, right? Um, because the weather outside is frightful, and I want to show you what Italian rose looks like because it's delightful. Um, oh, I know, I can hear you groaning all the way from over here. <laughs> Anyhow, um, this is Italian Roast by Beltress in the color Chocolate with Caramel. And I'm gonna open the door in just a second because it's uh, really loud in here because of all the smooth surfaces. So let me go ahead and just sort of do a 360 now, get it out of the way so you can see what this one looks like out of the box. And then hopefully when I open the door, um, it won't be quite so noisy in here. Acoustics are like this magical thing. When I open the door, you can still hear kind of an echo, 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 like the reverberation, but it's not nearly as bad. Um, anyhow, I digress. The color, like I said before, is chocolate with caramel. So if you're torn between this and something like, say, the cappuccino with cherry by Beltress, just keep in mind the cappuccino with cherry, very dark, very, very dark, like almost a black. And the front of it, just the front of it, has some very slight medium auburn highlights. Whereas this color, which is the chocolate with caramel, is a medium to dark brown, so it's a lighter brown color. And then the highlights, that sort of really pretty number 30 medium auburn brown, it's kind of blended throughout. Gives it kind of a nice medium ginger brown appearance. So it's not quite as harsh as the other one. Uh, again, the other one was cappuccino with cherry, which is much darker. So in case you were wondering about those colors. Um, this wig is super cute. I really like this one a lot. This is sort of Belle Tress's answer to the Sweet Talk by Gabor, if you think about it. Um, and I like this one better <laughs> than Sweet Talk. Um, I think that the curl pattern is more relaxed. It's more of that boho wave, which the one on Sweet Talk is definitely more of a curl. Like for real, it's a curl. And that makes it poofier. Um, now this one also has a similarly f like sort of flat profile on top, like Sweet Talk does, but because that curl's a little bit more relaxed, it's not so dramatic. You know, on Sweet Talk, it's like flat and then poof, like right here. But that's not really me. You know, that's not my bag. I like this because it's like, it gradually picks up volume as it gets closer to the bottom of the hair. I think that's just really cute. And again, here, let me show you contrast with the background. Because I know people are like, that, that door, it's obscuring my view. Now you can see. Um, so I think Italian roast is super cute. I, I think that this is a darling cut. And the great thing about this one is, if you think it's crazy looking in any place, it's heat friendly, which is another thing sweet talk isn't. So you can heat style it so it looks the way you want it to look. But I do think that the way it comes out of the box is just kind of killer. It's super cute all on its own and very trendy by the way. Like look at how all the, the ends are straight and they kind of point downwards. That's very on trend. I think that they've got it right. Um, and you may be wondering, what's the difference between this and something like Kona, which is another bell truss wig that is similarly short? And I think that the answer is that um, they have different curl patterns. Like if you go back and look at the review of Kona, they've got slightly different curl patterns. Um, and the other thing is that this one is way more layered. The layering is shorter. It starts higher up on the hair shaft. The layering on Kona is a little bit more relaxed. And, particular, and I'm talking specifically about the layering near the sides here. It's way more intense on the Italian roast than on the Kona. The hair fiber, by the way, feels great on these Beltrath wigs. It has a really luscious feel to it. Um, and this wig is very nice and light, weighs about three ounces. The bangs are 6.5 inches. Oh, I'll eat my hat if they're 6.5 inches. That's definitely a little bit longer than that. Maybe they're talking about the shortest, most layer, but I mean, that's closer to like nine inches right there. So just throwing that out there. Um, the sides are 7.5, but I mean, they're heavily layered. Look at that. So I mean, they're, they're varying degrees of, of length there. 
The nape is 5.5 and the overall length from the top to the bottom is about 12 inches. So it's definitely like right at the shoulders. The longest layer in the back rests right on the back of my neck. So I'm gonna go ahead and take Italian roast off now so I can show you what the cat construction looks like. This is a lace front monofilament side part wig. The uh, monofilament side part is on the left on this wig. Um, it does have a little bit of permatease on the top of the cap as well as a little teeny bump it here in the back. And here, let me go ahead and show that to you. Little teeny teeny, itty bitty bump it of permatease back there. But I mean, it's very, very slight. And here's that texture, delicious texture. Very pretty texture on this one. Um, it does have felt that sort of lines the seams all across the top of the wig and all of the monofilament features. Um, open on the sides, open in the back, get a fair amount of hair on this one. See that it doesn't have a whole bunch of space in between the wefts there. I like that. Um, it's kind of critical on a short wig. You don't want it when the wind blows to see tracks. So when it has good coverage like that, not so much of an issue. You have an extended felt nape. It adjusts a bit like a bra strap here in the back. Very cute wig. Very pretty color. You can see there's not a whole lot of shine going on on this wig. That's because heat friendly synthetics tend not to be as shiny as their uh, regular synthetic counterparts. Really super cute, loose, open wave pattern on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on. My only complaint about the cap construction on the bell tress wigs um, is that the lace front just kind of goes straight across, which I prefer it when it's got a little bit of a contour to it but it's a nice thick lace front and it's very easy to wear. In fact, this wig in general, let me fluff her up a little bit to kind of show you. This wig in general is very easy to wear because you can mess her up, go for kind of like a bedhead look and she's still gonna be cute. So I think this one's really darling and you can do a lot with her, especially if you want to get adventurous with the heat styling element here. So really cute one. This is the Italian Roast by Belle Tress bringing you a patented bathroom review. It's not really patented. Everybody does this, but you know what I mean. Uh, I'm Heather. I'm from Sister Ways. I'll review from anywhere. Seaside. I'll review, this is a queen reference. I'll review from uh, <laughs> bathrooms. Basically anywhere I go, I'll take you too. And uh, if you like that kind of proposition uh, and that kind of journey through wigs, hopefully you will subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until next time, I hope you have a great afternoon. Bye.